Hello, uh, today we're going to talk about um, some chart types in Google Sheets that I think will be interesting for some folks. Um, what I have here is I have a Google Sheet and what I went out and found some information about countries around the world. So what I have here is the infant mortality rate measured between 2005 and 2010 and the number represents the uh, number of deaths per thousand between the ages of one and birth. And so I'm going to select all of these, uh, both columns. All right, should be almost done here. And I'm going to go up and insert a chart. Now this, uh, this chart here doesn't really help us very much. And I was something that'll be interesting though, if you go to the types of charts over here and click on map, you can actually take that data from a spreadsheet and it fills in a, uh, a preset uh, map. And you can hover over the different parts of the world and it'll show you um, the population uh, rates per, per thousand. You can come in here and you can customize this. And let's say you only want to focus on a part of the world, let's say um, uh, Africa. And you can even change these colors around. You could say instead of the minimum being red, let's make that blue. And the mid range will be green. And the maximum will be red. And there might be a little better to uh, see the contrast there. Um, one of the things I do is also put no value in black to find out, okay, where did I miss any countries? And uh, so this is, this is one way to create a map, or excuse me, to create a chart using a map. And then once you're done, all you have to do is uh, click insert, and there it puts it right in there. You can also insert it into a new sheet. Now another type of chart using maps is I'm going to come over here and I've got uh, cities of East Asia and their population. I'm going to go ahead and select these. And uh, for both types of charts that I'm going to show you here, they want the location name to be right next to what it is you're measuring. So in this case, the city, the name of the city needs to be on the left side of the column or the left column, and then the population is going to be the right column. Uh, and so we're going to go over here and insert chart. We're going to insert a different type of map chart. And we're going to go to map again. Only down here we're going to use geo markers. And watch what this does. It, it is finding all of those cities on a map of East Asia. And I'm going to go ahead and customize and bring this down into Asia so we can see it. And you can see that it's showing the different cities, and the larger the circle, the larger uh, the uh, population is. And so these are a couple of different ways to work with uh, spreadsheets and charts, different kinds of charts that maybe you're used to using. But I think that you could find a number of uses in the classroom for. So thanks again for watching and uh, check back often.